Welcome back. We are here on E2 looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, March 5th, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. The link is down below. You're very welcome to join. So this has been another horrible day for the stock market. As you can basically see, the last two and a half weeks, we have basically been falling off a cliff. We went all the way down to 3,723 uh, before pulling back quite substantially. However, technical indicators are still looking dreadful. There's still a lot of room to the downside, and we could actually fall significantly lower. If we break these previous uh, lows here back in, this was in, uh, in late January, at the 3,666, then we could go significantly lower. So we can look at the Fibonacci retracements for this market. We can see that we are just above the first Fibonacci retracement at 38.2 at the 3,682. Then we have the next one here at 3,600. And then the last one right here at around 3,515. So these are our... Uh, possible major support uh, levels that you know, people could pay, pay attention to if we continue to drop. It also looks like that the 20 exponential is going to cross the 50 moving average, not probably tomorrow, but um, uh, sometimes next week if this uh, trend continues to, to um, continue going down. We also see that the 50 moving average is now acting as resistant instead of acting as support. So, this could also be that we'll have a different route to the upside. We could also be looking at something similar to this, where we drop towards the 200 moving average and then continue in a new trend line to the upside, and where we don't see a massive break towards the, these very lows here. So we can basically say that the... Biden administration is not having the same approach to the stock market as the Trump administration. So basically in the Trump administration, it was basically just keep the markets up at all costs and it doesn't matter basically what it costs, just keep the market. They were just planning for this V-shaped recovery, whether or not they cared or they just wanted to say that this was a v-shaped recovery is basically a v-shaped recovery um that is well that is up to, up to debate mostly everything i trump did was basically to use it as uh, look at me how good i am and so on so he more or less wanted to show the world that they managed to create a v-shaped recovery whether or not that was healthy for the stock market um, no, pretty much. No, it isn't. It isn't. If you look at most of the major uh, companies in the in the stock market, they are all significantly overvalued at this point. So you can look at every single PE ratio and compare it to, to PE ratio the last five years, and you will get completely different numbers. Uh, some of the major companies, their P ratio are is basically up above a thousand, and usually don't look at companies that have P ratios higher than twenty. So, just keep that in mind. Most of these stocks are heavily overinflated at this point. So, that we have these major pullbacks should not come as a major surprise to anybody. We could also fall significantly lower from here. We can look at, for example, the long Fibonacci retracement, for example. We could see something that fell all the way down to 3,200, 3,000, around 3,000, and then also 2,800. That would not be very strange, to be very honest. Uh, there is no connection between how the uh, U.S. economy is doing and, for example, how the stock market has been doing. Not even close. So we could drop towards this trend line here or the 2200 moving average, and then continue uh, with that trend line. That would basically mean that it will take quite a long time before we get back towards 4000. That would mean that somewhere in September this year, 
then based late September, early October, we could see this market recovering back towards 4,000, give or take. So that is a possible scenario. Uh, the other possible scenario is that we basically rally from here and just continue. Break uh, 4,000, head towards 4,250 and beyond that. That is also possible, but at this point, it is looking very bearish. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So very similar here, but it's still uh, uh, a lot more bullish than, the, for example, the FSMP 500. So we did break down towards uh, 13,525 and then rallied, and now we're right at the 50 moving average. Technical indicators for the Dow Jones are very, uh, very bearish at this point. All indicators are showing that we are momentum is to the downside. So if we continue breaking down from here, then 30,000, 30, that will be an obvious area where people will show interest. And then we can also look at the Fibonacci retracement for this. Then we see that the first Fibonacci is around 30,000. Next one is here at 29,124. And then the third one is here at 28,400. So also here, if we were to break down, for example, in the S&P 100, we will most likely also break down in the Dow Jones and we'll head towards the 200 moving average before grinding to the upside. So let's look at the Nasdaq. So Nasdaq, of course, has been hit, um, well, the hardest uh, for of all of these indices. And probably the main reason for that is because um, the big gainers of the COVID lockdown and so on were basically tech companies. So it is not strange that the most uh, that we have seen um, the Nasdaq dropping by 2% while the other indices are dropping by 1% and so on because these prices of these stocks are, are heavily overinflated. Just look at most of the big companies here that have been rallying uh, 100 um, to 200, 400% in only one year of a pandemic when the world economy is basically in shambles. So... So it is not strange that we see these pullbacks. We have seen one here, one here, a small here, and now we're seeing another big pullback that resembles this pullback. This is even more aggressive. Um, so 200 moving average is not far off. It's 11,700. It is not that far off. So we can look at the Fibonacci retracements for this. We can see that we have tested the 50 here today. We actually pierced it. So the 60 is right underneath at 12,900. 900, no, not 12,900, 12,090. If that breaks, that opens the door to the 200 moving average. We could also see something very similar to the S&P 500, where we get a more gradual grind to the upside. So we could break towards this price level at uh, this level here at around 12,000 and then continue on this path to the upside. So that basically means that it will take give or take around early September this year before we get back to 13,900. So that is also possible that we can see that because this move here is just, if you just scroll out and look at this massive move to the upside. So this is the pandemic and this is the aftermath of the pandemic. This doesn't make any sense whatsoever. This, uh, this can't continue. Everybody that has been trading cryptocurrencies and so on, when you see a market that behaves in this pattern, you know that at some point it will basically break down. And we are seeing one of those breakdowns. How long it lasts? Well, that is to be seen. We can break down to these Fibonacci retracement. We can also continue in a new line when we hit around 12,000. And we can also turn around and rally from here and just continue as if everything is just normal but these technical indicators are showing a different sign they are very very bearish at this point so momentum is definitely to the downside we also have a crossing here of the 20 and the 50 exponential moving average so uh, 20 exponential moving average and the 50 moving average so when this is also a very very shine if we rally from here get close to the 20 or the 50 they will most likely act as resistant and they will basically break down yet again. So let's look at the DAX. So 
So the DAX has been a lot more resilient than the uh, US indices, to be very honest. We're still trading above uh, the 20 exponential and the 50 moving average. Technical indicators are slowly turning to the downside. If you manage to break below the 50, that opens the door to 13,650, then towards uh, 13,300, and then the 200 moving average. If we rally from here, then we can, if we manage to take out 13,000, 14,179, then we could go all the way down 14,500. 14, so it is slow grind, but it's not as volatile as the US indices, and it's definitely not as bearish as the US indices whatsoever. So let's look at the UK's, let's see. Same thing for the UK 100. We can see that we have basically been up and down uh, most of the day and then we uh, stopped right here between the 50 and the 20 exponential moving average yes uh, it is really difficult to say where we are going with this market if we break below the 20 that opens the door to 6468 a break above these previous uh, candlesticks here opens the door to these highs of 6789 technical indicators are technically all over the place so Yes, I would just stay away from this until it basically shows um, where it is going. And uh, it is not obvious at this point where we are going. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see your new videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.